Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this coffee cup reading. This coffee cup is for all Aries and it's for June onwards 2024. I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope it helps you understand everything you need to know, empowers you to know what is missing, what you need to know, what are important factors uh, hidden from you, um, prepare you to for what's coming and answer your questions. So in everything, that's what coffee cups are all about. They're about everything. And so are tarot cards. They both um, have their own, um, you know, their own way of, of delivering messages. Welcome, my dear viewers. Before going further, I'd like to tell you uh, to make to make you aware that prior to the coffee cup, I always meditate. Prior to every reading, I meditate, shuffle the cards when I do tarot, and I meditate when I'm drinking the coffee and turning it over. So in my meditation, I get connected to all the guiding angels and ask them to give me information from them, not from the coffee cup. So I get a piece of paper always ready ahead of time and write down on a piece of paper what needs to be delivered to you. And I always get a lot. I hope I always got less, but I don't. I get too much. So please do watch these videos till the end in support of me. That means a lot to me. And if you'd like to click on one or two ads without even watching them, just let them run. That is going to be the greatest support for me also. Please always give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the readings. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. Now, I'm going to show you what your coffee cup looks like. Have a look, my dear viewers. Welcome, my dear Aries. And those of you who have Aries within you, your cup is so full. Oh, my God in heaven. Just so much there. So much. Okay. So I'll start from the beginning. The beginning being connected to the ending very interesting it looks to me like you are you even though it's a gesture appealing to the heavens it's like your hands are up in the air and you're trying to connect it's as though you want to connect to the divine to god to your belief you're becoming more spiritual perhaps or maybe you want to, more information. It's like you want to, um, you want to listen to what your angels have to tell you, your guides, what they want you to know. It's like you're very interested now, and you're becoming more. Maybe you were, but your your interest is increasing. It's as though your the ancient soul within you is striving now for more, more connection to God, more connection to divine, and it looks to me like. It looks to me like um, your nerves, your nervous system, maybe something that might have happened that has upset you, trying to let go of the past perhaps. It's very important that you pay attention to your spinal col column. Align your spinal column. Maybe the way you sit, uh, the way you need to hold yourself, the way you sit in a chair, the way you stand. I feel like your posture may be playing a role here. Your spinal column is also connected to your bones and your muscles, of course, but nerves and cells. It's like they need your attention or you might be going through something that you need to pay attention to. Maybe you're doing something too much, maybe too much gym. Something is going out of alignment. And um, I really feel like you need to align not only your like all your chakras your your spinal column but also your intentions and your connections that too breathing exercises yoga is going to help you big time meditation it's as though you need it there's a chain of events that will affect your life and because the beginning is connected to the ending it just shows to me that your body your physical body needs your attention. So you have to be very aware and vigilant how to create a healthier body. That's a, that's, it's like, yeah, it's very, very deep. So something is igniting. Something is about to start. You want your freedom. You want to elevate to high levels. You want to escalate to a better position in life. And, and for some reason, this escalation is based on doing the right thing for your body now there could be wrong advice i see wrong advice being given wrongful advice and so you've really got to be careful um you're not that certain about it maybe something you're questioning 
So if you're questioning some advice that's being given to you, perhaps you need to really reassess it or uh, what's the other word? Not reassess it, you know, analyze it and try to get more information. Some of you are thriving because you're about to do something that you love or you're about to start something you love. It could be a business. It could be, you know, a new way of living, living well. You want to live well. You want to do something that makes you happy. I feel like you could be the sole provider, but there is money. There's money around you, so you're doing well. There's work. There's money. Some of you could be thinking of getting your own business, maybe, to do something of your own. Um, you might be getting your own. It could be a, a, an idea you've had for the longest time, but there is strategy. You're using strategy. You're, you're, you're spending wisely. You want something long term. You want to start something long term, and you're determined. And I feel like... You know, some of you could be going into uh, a sort of like a, a military mode, which means like trying to do everything right and disciplined. And some of you could be wanting to join, you know, the military or defense or the police department or something like that. But you want that order in your life. And I feel like um, you're leading the way to, to, to get there. And in the process of that, you are going to have a breakthrough. There is going to be. A breakthrough but also at the same time it's showing here where at the beginning of your mission you need to focus on the beginning of this particular mission and think it through thoroughly this is all about something new that you want to do so yes your connections also what's how that will benefit them how will that affect them rather than benefit them when you do start this mission Okay, I do see something strange here. I see a scythe, which a scythe means, you know, the scythe is that uh, tool that people slash hay with, that scythe. And this scythe looks to me like, well, the scythe is something happens all of a sudden that cuts through and, and gives you direct information. Unexpected accidents sometimes. So you've got to be very careful, very, very careful. Sometimes it could be a cut, you know, because don't forget the scythe. You hold the hay and you cut. So there could be a, a shortcut. There could be a cut in your harvest. There could be a release. There could be um, a freedom, something being ripped off, taken, something removed. There could be a shock. Yeah. There is a surprise. But there could be an, an accident that you can avoid. So do your best to be aware of this. It might be something that you might hear. Something to do with a dog. There's a big dog here also. Dog. There's the ears, the mouth, the body. Hmm. It's as though you need energetic support and you're asking for it. You need it. And You want compassion. You want you want to be loved. You want help. You want emotional support. I feel like with family, maybe, or with changes that are taking place, you want to be supported. There's someone that challenges. Uh, someone that's very challenging. It could be an air energy. Someone like um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This person might, you need to, maybe you, you need to listen to what they're advising you. They might advise you something, but always get a second opinion to be 100%. Slowly but surely you're getting ahead without a doubt. So you don't have to worry because I see a big uh, giant tor tortoise here. So that shows that progress is going ahead. Holding too tightly onto things, my dear Aries, will, will sort of block the flow of energy. So relax and be confident. And just take things slowly. I do see a conflict. There is an argument, a big argument with someone. It's cautioning you to be very careful. Because there may be people that are, they will use underhanded words, methods, maybe to, to get their words pushed through and make you out to be sort of the wrong one. So there is competition here. This is all about perhaps power. They want power over you or power over something that might have happened. Secrets. Something about a secret. 
I feel like some secrets, secret opposition maybe, to your plans, some obstacles are there. Someone challenging your authority, a rival perhaps. There's no way, there's no easy way to do this because it's like arguments. Nobody's listening. No one's listening to the other party. Like everybody's saying their, their thing. It's a frustrating, difficult time ahead, or or just maybe you might you might leave this behind you and move forward from this. It's always to keep away from people that are very negative or you know destructive in their way. I I also feel like there could be a separation. There's sorrow and loss because of this, maybe because of this. There's separation apart. You're leaving people apart this could be even a relationship maybe argument with a lover or marriage separation there's incompatibility you know between you and this party whether it's one person or a group of people there's incompatibility and and um it's like it's as though you feel betrayed yeah Mistakes were made. Mistakes in the way of speaking, expressing, they were made. And you need to accept blame for your part and release the situation and let go of it. So there isn't much you can do, really. It's just showing that you've got to be apart from this situation, apart from this. You've got to surrender and let go. That's all you can do. There's nothing else you can do, my dear Aries. Surrender and let go. This chapter has to come to an end, this difficulty. And the only way to do that is within your heart, just don't hold on to past disappointments. Let go of them. Forgive what happened and just let it go. There's no use persisting that which you cannot change. It's in the past. You just got to move on. And remain faithful to who you are, your ideals, what you stand for. Um, there's no need to create problems by being overly demanding of others or even of yourself because you need to go softly. Sometimes you can't change people, no matter what you do, no matter what the truth may be. There are certain people that you can't change. And you've got to consider everything. You've got to consider your foundations. You've got to consider, you know your commitments and just let go of anything negative i do feel there is a situation about a home your foundation <laughs> i think i need to drink some water bear with me my dear viewers yes your foundations your home it's as though okay there's a part of you that you want freedom from where you are there's another part of you you're afraid of leaving something behind some of you are in the process of wanting to purchase a property some of you are in the, in the process of selling where you are moving to a better place you're thinking about your home but you are thinking about your freedom it's as though you want your freedom you don't want people telling you what to do you want to live the life you want you want to improve your life and deep inside of your heart like you know you have so many options. There's so much you can have, so much you can do, so many choices. So you're taking your time. But there is something wonderful and incredible starting, igniting. Now, it's a time for you, my dear Aries, especially June. It's spectacular for you. There's so much you can start. You can begin anything. There's a new project being starting. You have the power to move forward. And the intellect, you have the intellect to reach to high levels. Tap into your creativity, tap into your energy, into your enthusiasm, and you'll see that it's going to be doing well for you and family or a group of people. Anything is possible. Something wonderful starting, the fertility of something. Warmth, something wonderful. Family life, someone incredible. Only time I will tell you exactly what I'm talking about, but it's beginning and it's starting. And it's like, it's as though... You know, with this situation or this person, maybe, you're very highly thought of. They think of you very highly. This person could have water energy in them. Possibly water energy. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They're very caring, considerate towards you. I also see like this situation is improving 
and getting bigger. It's becoming wider. There's good harvest. There's abundance coming your way. Um, it's a very successful relationship. It's forming. And new understanding. It's what's making you happy. It's like you feel energized because this person really understands you. Maybe because it looks to me like there's a very strong friendship. And, and this is very important for you now. Now friendship is very important before you uplift it and change it too. Um, I re, I re, maybe it's becoming a great relationship because you, you value the friendship in your relationship. There's a strong sense of community also. I feel like there's team spirit at work. Um, I also see popularity, invitations, social events, but I'm seeing you celebrating something magnificent. There's balloons all over the place. Something big is happening. Celebration. Just see what this is, this area here. Hmm. It looks to me like it's wealth, money coming in from a source, but it doesn't show what the source is. That's the strange part. Hmm. Let's have a look. It could be a windfall. Money coming down the sky. <laughs> like, it could be a major windfall. I see there's glasses here. It shows there's a ladybug here. Wow. Glasses, ladybug. A telephone call. This could be what? These are clues. Abundance. A ladybug is about luck and abundance. Okay. Um, it's also about a happy life, comfort, leisure, wishes coming true. So... If you've ever wanted to win the lottery or the lotto, I think this is going to be the time. You are starting fresh. There's Some of you are considering starting a family. There's good health and abundance is coming. Major abundance. Family, also starting a family. My dear Aries, um, the letter A is here. The letter C is here for cat. The letter, the number three is here. One, two, three. Uh, Chinese year of the tiger. Um, also, somebody born like you, my dear Aries. Someone like you. Perhaps Pisces, because March. March is Pisces and Aries. So you, you are Aries. There could be someone like we saw before the water energy. Because I'm seeing you meeting someone that's very hardworking. So I'm... I'm, I'm I'm getting this feeling that this person could be a cuspy uh, Pisces, Aries, but they might have Pisces, water energy more. Very hard worker, reliable, gentle, so gentle. And these qualities that they've got, you are going to love. You love these qualities within them. This could be an amazing love partnership beginning. I feel like it's like you're working on, you're slowly starting with this situation, relationship. And in your heart, you know you'll be together with this person one day. So you have faith in that. It's that that's how strong it is. And you'll be keep you'll keep working on this. Some of you haven't met this person, but you are. It could be a twin flame. You're there to ascend with each other, to thrive together, to help each other through. I really feel like it's a twin flame. Your hearts are connected. As soon as like you close your eyes, you know you're connected to this person. I'm seeing Chinese year of the goat, Chinese year of the snake, Chinese year of the rat. Very strong here, Chinese year of the monkey. I also see a new beginning, a lot of peace from June to August. Something big. Could be meeting this person or expressing your love. So you can go ahead. There's a lot of romance that you can express and, and, and reach out together and reach to levels beyond where you are today. Now, what I'm seeing is very strange because I'm seeing Aries here. Fire energy, very strong Aries. But, so there's one, two, three rams. This person might have Aries in them, but there's also Sagittarius, very strong Sagittarius. One, two, three Sagittarius. So it could be you and someone that has Sagittarius. Fire energy, very strong. But then remember I said water. And in water energy, I'm seeing Cancer here. There's two crabs, two Cancer, one Scorpio, one Pisces. Unfortunately, one Pisces, but two Cancer. So water energy here, very strong. Now, you could be also connecting or leaving behind an air energy, perhaps. 
might be Aries, or if you have Aries within you, you could be dealing with, um, connecting with, not leaving behind, connecting with an Aquarius here, double Aquarius, Gemini. Uh, if, if you are, you know, probably connecting with, getting married to, um, if you have Aries in you, there could be an Aquarius there somewhere, double Aquarius and one Capricorn, Capricorn is Earth. And you need earth in your relationships. So if you're dealing with someone that's a cuspy Aquarius Capricorn, you will do well because you need that earth and Aquarius to keep this situation going. I do feel like you're thriving, starting something wonderful. There's someone of rooster here, Chinese rooster, Chinese year of the rooster, one, two, three, four. Something about this rooster in June, something happening. Chinese year of the rat is connected to the rooster also. I also feel like the rat here is very strong and the rat's connecting to the horse very strong even though they're not compatible but they're connecting together very strange um you could be dealing with two people that are rat and horse or if you're a rat yourself you're connecting to a horse very strong i also see the chinese ear of the snake here i see chinese ear uh, twice the snake and once i see the cat rabbit i also see the pig here there's two chinese ear of the pig Chinese year of the goat and two Chinese year of the dragon. This year is the year of the dragon. This year is going to support you, uplift you to move to the next level. A lot of decisions you'll be making. And now that we've reached to the end, there is a great victory overall. From that which you were starting till the end, a great victory. Now, let's have a look at the messages that came. Now, the first thing it says, going back, my dear Aries, you're going back somewhere, but I don't know where. Where are you going back to? I don't know. It says going back. Someone is getting married or going to a wedding. Now, this could be yourself. You could be going to a wedding. You could be invited to a wedding. Someone close to you getting married. Someone's wedding is affecting you. Or you yourself could be proposed to and you're planning a wedding. So all that is possible. It says an archangel is watching over you, and you need to know that. I think it's Archangel Gabriel, because that's the feeling I got, but they didn't want to tell me who. There is a special archangel, not just your average angel, that's watching over you. That was a very special message. Like, wow, letting you know that. Now, the next message was transparency. So doing something without hiding it, you know, like out in the open. Maybe you're, you're asking transparency from someone. You know, if you're doing this, let's see it. Don't do it, you know, um, don't hide it. Something like that. Something about fitness. You're taking care of your health or you're meeting someone that's into fitness. Okay, I was given stones. And stones are all about spiritual or emotional well-being and physical well-being. So I guess fitness, physical well-being, emotional well-being, and spiritual with the stones. Uh, and then I was given a lot of names, not a lot, but a few uh, initials of names. So T for Thailand, Tiger, D for Dorothy, Denmark, Q for quails and quilt, Y I was given twice, yellow, yes, F for um, France, a for Alaska and H for horse or honey. I was given number one. You had two horses in there. Uh, number one, ch connected to the Chinese ear of the rat. So um, Chinese ear of the rat. It's also connected to a new beginning about to start. And timing from the time you see this up to one month. Connected to Aquarius and Capricorn. There's that cusp I was talking about because... January, one is connected to January, people born in January are Capricorn Aquarius. Remember I said you could be dealing with someone that's Capricorn Aquarius. Um, and um, Chinese Year of the Rat. And from the time you see this cup up to a month, so taking you all the way to July, a new beginning that's going to be prosperous and you are going to be loving it. And that is the end of your reading, my dear Aries. I do hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to support me by clicking on one or two ads and just letting them run. That's going to be great support and seeing the video through. I wish you abundance of blessings in everything you do. A lot of love and light.